I'm Jen and welcome to my studio. Today we're going to be doing a all levels really. I, the last part may be a little more on the advanced side so you could like stop at the third part if that's a little too advanced for you or for your students if you're bringing this to class. Um, but we'll go with like intermediate. We'll just call it intermediate and you can decide if it goes more toward beginner or advanced. It always depends on the tempo. So yeah, it's a technique exercise that is for across the floor. This is my favorite part of class. This is my students' favorite part of class. We love to go across the floor. I know when I take a jazz in our contemporary class, I love across the floor. And it's not just because it's like, okay, let's, let's move in one direction and it's, you know, it's just a short combination. It's that you get to move throughout the space. A lot of times as tap dancers, we are so confined, as you can see here. We're so confined to like one square. Across the floor allows us to use all these steps that we know and move them. Take up as much space as we can, as much space as we are able to. I love it and my students love it. So this is a great combination for class for across the floor or if you just want to work on flaps and you have a bigger space, you can also do it across a little floor. So I've done across the floor videos on this channel. I have across the floor combinations. Like I think I have like 10 of them. I stopped doing them because I, I, the reviews, like not the reviews, but like the view counts on those versus other types of tutorials weren't as high. So I assumed people didn't want like those full across the floor videos where I would like basically take you on an across the floor sequence in my class and do it this way, that way, this way, and that way, and maybe it just took too long, I don't know. So if you guys would like to see those come back, please let me know in the comments. I'd be happy to do one, but I also am fine making just individual across the floor combinations to show you so that you can have it. So that's what we're doing today. Also, if you are not already subscribed to this channel, do the thing. All right, so this starts with two falap heels and then has four falaps. Every single section has four falaps as the second part. It's the first part that varies. So we start with two falap heels and four falaps, one of my favorite phrases of all time. Falap, heel, falap, heel, falap, heel, falap, heel, falap, heel, falap. So rhythmically, that's all one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So let's just do that together to make sure we got that. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. One, Awesome. From there, your right foot's free. You would do, instead of flat heel, it'd be flat heel heel. And this is flat back heel, front heel. So you still have the four flaps at the end of it, but instead of flat heel, you have flat heel heel. Flat heel, heel. So let's try the first part and the second part together. Flat heel, flat heel, four flaps. Black heel, heel, black heel, heel, four flaps. Let's do it. Five, six, seven, eight. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Awesome. Part three, we have shuffle, 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 shuffle. And you can swing it like the flap heel heels. You can swing this. So I probably will swing it because I love to swing things as we tap dancers do. And also because it matches the rhythm, so I like it and it'll work with the last part too. So I'm gonna go shuffle, 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 and then the four flaps. So let's try adding that one. So first three parts. Ready? From the lap here. Five, six, seven, eight. A one and a two, a three and a four. So now we got a triplet going on, which is why it works with that last part to swing it. So you have shuffle, step, heel, stomp, shuffle, step, heel, stomp. So it's the same as we just did. It's like the Pikachu version of Pichu or the Raichu version of Pikachu. A one and a two, a three and a four. Shuffle, step, heel, stomp, shuffle, step, heel, stomp. Now that can get fast, which is why I'm saying I'm not sure about beginner for that one, but Beginner means something different to everybody. So you do you, your class does 
it's up. <laughs> so one, two, three, four. Make sure that that is a stomp with no weight. I know some people interchange stomp and stamp differently than I do. It is this, the one with the whole foot and no weight. Whatever you call it is totally valid. It is the one with the whole foot and no weight on it. I call it a stomp. It is totally fine with whatever you call that. So, no weight on it so that you can get into four full abs. So this last part goes So let's try all four parts together without music. And we'll try it with music. Ready? Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. button and join the tap fam. We've got technique exercises like this, step tutorials, like where you can just learn and focus on learning one step, isolated and all that. Um, we have choreography tutorials where you can learn a combination to a fun, timeless, popular, whatever, song. I take requests on those. It takes me a long time to get to those requests because I have so many and it's hard to find music I can use. So. Let me just state this. I don't, I'm, never, I'm not going to remember which video I said this in, but uh, let me just state this for the record. I love your requests. Please keep giving them to me. Please don't be mad if I can't get to it anytime soon or even ever. Because the way music rights are on YouTube, it's difficult for me to find songs that I'm allowed to use on this channel. So I have to like scour the internet for specific versions of things. And when it comes to musical theater and jazz standards specifically, those are so hard to find versions that I can use, which is why you don't see that many on here. And I know that that's so disappointing because like we're tap dancers. We love musical theater and jazz. I get that. <laughs> I want to bring you more. I'm going to keep searching. I have a few that I need to get on this channel because A, I want to, and B, they've been requested by so many people. So they are coming. It's just going to take a little while. But I do take requests. Please, please, please do not hesitate to write it as a comment. Send me a DM on Instagram. It takes me a while to get those messages too, but I promise I will answer. Um, but yeah, uh, send me an email. That's like the fastest way of getting to me. Send me an email. <laughs> My email is down below in the description. So make sure that you hit that subscribe button is basically what I was saying. And also while you're at it, hit the thumbs up button because we, uh, we want to tell YouTube that people love tap dance and that thumbs up button is how you do that. So subscribe, thumbs up, send me an email. And as always, thank you for dancing with me.